The 8 Pacific Tuna Forum, hosted by PNG NFA, saw the official opening and speeches made by NFA Managing Director Justin Ilakini, who welcomed the Pacific leaders to Port Moresby and what they have to expect in the next two days during the conference. Over the last three decades, we have been managing this resource and we can tap ourselves on the shoulder and say that we have indeed manage this resource really well. Mr. Ilakini touched on tuna as an economic resource and the significance of this forum to be used as a platform for dialogue amongst the Pacific leaders on the latest fisheries management initiatives and the approaches of regional fisheries management organization in the region in ensuring the sustainability of tuna and other highly migratory and stranding fish stock in the western and central Pacific Ocean. The people of the Pacific through their governments have an aspiration to start tapping into that resource. Tuna development investment have, however, have not been given the same level of priority as what we have been giving in terms of managing the resource sustainably over the last three decades or so. Representing the Prime Minister, Deputy PM John Rosso, upon highlighting the importance of tuna, also addressed some key issues when it comes to regional protection and how tuna as a resource can benefit all. Papua New Guinea stands committed to working with other countries in the region and the industry and our industry partners, the most important players also, to pursue sustainable investments in tuna fishery sector. Our trajectory hinges on harnessing our resources judicially and propelling our communities forward. Deputy PM John Rosso added that he was happy to see ministers and other important delegates meet in Port Moresby to discuss matters concerning the tuna fisheries sector under the theme strengthening tuna sustainability and industry development in the Blue Pacific continent through increased innovation, partnership and participation. The 8 Pacific Tuna Forum that started today will end on Friday. Godwin Eki.